Welcome back. So, we have started with the fat soluble vitamins and have seen the functions, sources, deficiency and excess uh, intake of the vitamin A and vitamin D um, which is important for our body. The remaining vitamins that is vitamin E and K we will be dealing in this class. Vitamin E it is a family of 8 uh, antioxidants, 4 tocopherols that is alpha, beta, gamma and delta and 4 tocotrienols again alpha, beta, gamma and delta. The main uh, active form among these is the alpha tocopherol. So, release of vitamin E from the food requires bile and the digestive enzymes which are released from the pancreas and intestinal tract and integration into the mycelae. So, the release of uh, vitamin E from the food requires bile and digestive enzymes from the pancreas and intestinal tract and integration into the mycelae. Fat is transported in the form of mycelae. Therefore, it is integrated into the mycelae and vitamin E is stored in the liver and adipose tissue. Now, the dietary sources of vitamin E are it is present in all the polyunsaturated plant oils and uh, leafy vegetables, then wheat germ, all the grains which have germ contain vitamin E and whole grains, liver, yolk, nuts especially almonds and seeds especially the sunflower seeds. These are rich sources of vitamin E. Now, the functions of vitamin E, the main function is it acts as an antioxidant, then it prevents the propagation of free radicals because of the activity as antioxidant, then protects vitamin A and ascorbic acid from the oxidation being by oxidizing itself then also protects the polyunsaturated fatty acids and vitamin A in the body, reduces the risk of cancer and heart disease and it is mainly considered as an anti-aging vitamin and the requirement for this vitamin for an adult is 8 to 10 milligrams of alpha tocopherol per day. Now, deficiency of vitamin E also causes some symptoms. So, when there is severe vitamin E deficiency, one or two days of deficiency will not cause any symptoms because vitamin E is stored in the liver. Therefore, severe vitamin E deficiency will cause neurological symptoms like impaired coordination and muscle weakness causing ataxia. Then the increased risk of cardiovascular disease, visual scotomas and deficiency occurs in severe protein energy malnutrition and fat malabsorption syndrome because fat is required for the transport of vitamin E. Then deficiency can be treated by giving them 800 to 1200 milligrams of tocopherol per day. So, this is how the eye, this cotoma in the eye looks like in vitamin D deficiency. The skin becomes dry and wrinkled and that is why it is called as an anti-aging vitamin. Then liver disease also is caused because of vitamin E deficiency because it is stored in the liver and it is used as an antioxidant and uh, protects so many other uh, nutrients against oxidizing. Then problems of excess, excess vitamin E that is above 1000 milligrams. This when I say when you are deficient take 800 to 1200 milligrams, but under normal conditions if the vitamin E is taken above 1000 milligrams per day, it causes impaired blood clotting leading to increased risk of bleeding in some persons and it is recommended to stop vitamin E supplements before one month of surgery because so that it does not lead to over bleeding. The next fat soluble vitamin is vitamin K and there are two forms of vitamin K again the plant source of vitamin K is vitamin K1 philoquinone and the menaquinone is found in fish oils and meats which is called as vitamin K2. So, 80 percent of the vitamin K which is uh, taken in is absorbed by the body and the release of vitamin K from the food requires again just like any other fat soluble vitamin, it requires bile, digestive enzymes uh, from the pancreas and intestinal tract and also it is integrated into the mycelae as it is a fat soluble vitamin. 50 percent of the vitamin K is synthesized by the gut bacteria. 
we have many beneficial bacteria in the body. So, vitamin K also is one of the nutrient that is synthesized by the gut bacteria. The functions of vitamin K, it is essential for formation of blood clotting proteins. Then it is also important in the inborn metabolism and formation. There are some inborn errors of metabolism in an infant. So, it plays a role in the inborn metabolism. Then uh, recommended dietary allowance is FAO WHO in 2004 has suggested that 55 micrograms of vitamin K is essential for an adult. Now, this vitamin K is used for anticoagulant drug overdose then uh, because it is important for blood clotting. So, anticoagulant drug overdose requires vitamin E for controlling the coagulation. Then it reduces the excessive menstrual flow then essential for blood clotting and hemorrhage and bleeding. Then hemorrhagic diseases in newborn babies also is caused because of vitamin K deficiency and inhibiting some cancer tumors and overcoming the inability to absorb vitamins you can use vitamin K as in it. And in infants, the um, bleeding during the delivery is inhibited by giving, a, giving an injection of vitamin K to the pregnant woman, so that there is no excessive loss of blood during the delivery of the baby. Dietary sources are liver, green leafy vegetables and broccoli, peas, then green beans and milk. So, these are all uh, vitamin K is widely available in the vegetables. So, we can see that vitamin K benefits of blood clotting and uh, it is also a clotting champion. Vitamin K is called as a clotting champion because it is very important for blood clotting. It converts the prothrombin into the thrombin and which is required for blood clotting. Now, deficiency of vitamin K, it increases the clotting time, then increases the tendency of causing hemorrhage and deficiency may be seen in premature infants, those who are on strong antibiotics and those who fail to absorb fat soluble vitamins. So, since it is a fat soluble vitamin, if there is no absorption of vitamin K, then the um, clotting of blood is delayed. Therefore, the bleeding time increases. Similarly, like the other fat soluble vitamins, there is toxicity with vitamin K intake also. So, vitamin K is readily excreted from the body compared to other fat soluble vitamins. So, generally there is no toxicity found, but high doses reduce the effectiveness of anticoagulant drugs. So, suppose a patient requires an anticoagulant drug and he has very high dose of vitamin K, it interferes with the anticoagulation and it can lead to jaundice and hemolytic anemia in newborns. So, you can see the bleeding uh, occurs because of uh, vitamin K deficiency and it cannot be stopped and a baby with hemorrhage disease can bleed from different places and it may be fatal. Therefore, vitamin K and vitamin E both are very important uh, fat soluble vitamins which are called as uh, the anti-aging vitamin and the anti-clotting uh, vitamin. So, these two are very important and uh, we have seen what are the food sources, what happens when it is excess and what happens when the vitamins are deficient in our food. Thank you.